Good morning. Welcome to the Friendship House of Prayer Baptist Church. I am Reverend Keith Latham, and I am glad that you are able to join us this morning. So I hope that you enjoy our service today. God bless. Let us have a word of prayer. Our precious and eternal Father God, I come to you this morning as humbled as I know how, thanking you, Lord, for another day. Heavenly Father God, I ask you right now, Heavenly Father, that you just be with me as I bring forth the word, Father God. Father God, I step aside and I ask you, Lord, that you use me mightily today, Father God. Father God, I ask that you anoint my lips from the coals of the altar this morning, Father God. And Father God, just have your way in me today, Father God. Father God, I ask that you just touch those that are sick and afflicted this morning, Father God. Stop by their bedsides today, Father God. And Lord God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for one more day, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've done and continuing to do. Now, Lord, I ask that you just bless this message today, Father God, and just continue to do what you would have us to do, Lord. In Jesus Christ, mighty and matchless name I pray. Amen. Amen. Today's text will be taken from John, the 8th chapter, in the 12th verse. Again, that is John, St. John, the 8th chapter, in the 12th verse. And it reads like this, John 8, 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Today's title will be, I will follow Christ. I will follow Christ. Jesus is saying here that anyone that follows him will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He came into the world, into this dark world to set the captives free, amen? And so we need to follow after Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We follow a lot of things. There's a lot of things that we follow. We follow sports. There's a lot of sports fans out there and we follow the sports, we follow the news, we follow our favorite TV program. Uh, we follow a lot of things. But Jesus Christ is saying here that we need to follow him. If you remember the story of Jesus as he was walking and he saw Peter and James and John and the disciples fisher, fishing and he says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And they dropped their nets and they followed after Jesus. Well, that's what we need to do today, is we need to follow Jesus Christ, amen? A lot of things that are happening in this world today, and we need to just lay down our nets, and we need to follow after Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen? You see, the scripture says that we need more of him and less of us, amen? John 3.30. It states that we need more of, of, of Jesus and less of us. And you see, we need to get self out of the way and we need to follow after Jesus Christ, amen? You see, a lot of times we want to make things about us, but you see, it's not about us, but it's about Jesus Christ, our Lord. We come to serve God, amen? We were put on this earth to worship God, amen? We were made in the likeness of God, and therefore we are come to serve Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen? This world that we're living in is, a, is, is dark, amen? And a lot of people don't know about Jesus, amen? A lot of people are, have turned their backs on Jesus. But we, as Christians, we as followers of Christ, First of all, it says in Ephesians 5, 1, it says that we are to be imitators of Christ, amen? What does that mean? That means we are to be like Christ, amen? It means that we are to, to 
follow his example, amen. When Jesus walked, he walked in love, amen. And, and, and as Christians, as followers of Christ, we need to walk in that same love that Jesus walked in, amen. There's times that people are going to rub us the wrong way. There's times that people are going to say things about us. But Jesus says that we need to love them regardless. Amen. We need to love them and we need to forgive them. Amen. A lot of times I hear people say that I'm not going to turn the other cheek. But Jesus is telling us that if we are to be Christians, if we are to be an example of this world, we need to follow Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to love and walk in the forgiveness and the love and the light that Jesus paid for, uh, uh, had us to do. Amen. And so therefore, let us be that example that Christ has us to be. Amen. Let us be that example that God intended us to be. Amen. And we need Again, as it says in John 3.30, to be um, more, Lord, I want, I, want a, I want more of you, God, and less of me. There's a song, uh, a song by Colton Dixon called More of You and Less of Me. And that's what I want to be. I want, I, oftentimes we want self, and a lot of times self gets in the way. But you see, as I walk this journey, as I walk this Christian journey, I, I want my eyes focused on Jesus Christ. I want my mind focused on Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to be in the presence of God. I want to be just in attuned to his word. I want to be uh, uh, just listening to his still small voice. Amen. Amen. We listen to what the world says. And the world says this, and the world says that. But what about what God is saying? What about what the Word of God is telling us? The Word of God tells us that we need not to worry. Amen. The Word of God is telling us that we need to trust in God and trust in His Word. Amen. The Word of God is telling us that, that He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The Word of God is telling us that we need to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Amen. You and I were called into this world. In the book of Matthew, it tells us that we need to let our light shine for Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Amen. We need to let our light shine before all men that they may see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. You and I were called to be light bearers for God. Amen. I don't know about you this morning, but I want to let my light shine for Jesus Christ. I want to live for Jesus. Amen. I want people to see the Jesus in me. Amen. I know that none of us are perfect. We all have faults and failures. But you see, we need to let God shine through us. Amen. We need to let God shine through our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to get rid of the, the garbage of this world. And we need to just look to God. Amen. In the book of Psalms, it tells us this. It says that we need to look to the hills of which cometh our help. Our help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. Amen. And that means that we need to look to Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Not only that, but we need to lean on God in times of trouble. We need to lean on God when we're down and out. Amen. We need to lean on God in the times of sickness. Amen. You see, I'm reminded of that song that says, God of the mountain is still God in the valley. Amen. When we have the mountaintop experience, amen, we are praising God. Amen. But sometimes 
life throws us in the valley. And we need to just praise God even in the valley. Amen. When the storm of life comes our way, we still need to praise God. Amen. When things don't seem to go right, we still need to praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to praise him and worship him and glorify him. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to magnify God and stand and stand and worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. It is by his grace and his mercy that we're still here. Amen. And I have decided to follow Christ. Amen. I have decided to follow God. I have decided to worship God. Amen. No matter what this world says or does, I'm going to worship God. The cross before me, the world behind me. Amen. So therefore, I'm looking at the cross. I'm looking at Jesus Christ. And I'm going to continue to just go forward and worship him in spirit and in truth. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the light of this world. Amen. And therefore, we follow God. We follow after Jesus. And therefore, we don't have to walk in darkness, but we will have the light of life. That is probably one of my favorite scriptures because, you see, that gives me hope. That scripture gives me hope knowing that if I follow after Jesus, I will not walk in darkness. Even though what's going on in this world today, even though we're, we're seeing all of these things, all of the, you hear all of this stuff that's going on in the news, all of this virus pandemic stuff, all of these protestings and riotings and stuff, this scripture here gives me hope. Knowing that if I follow after Jesus Christ, I will no longer walk in darkness, but I will have the light of life. Amen. And that light is Jesus Christ. It tells us in the, books, in the book of Ephesians that you and I are the children of the light. Amen. We once were in darkness. But now we are walking in the marvelous light. And how are we walking in the marvelous light? Because you and I have chosen to follow Jesus. Amen. You and I have, have given up our lives. And we have chosen to follow Jesus. Amen. We have chosen to, to, to worship God and just follow him in spirit and in truth. We have made Jesus the Lord of our lives. And so you and I are children of the light. Amen. We are children of God. Amen. Because he is the light. Amen. So therefore, we are his dear, dear children. And you and I were made to worship him. Amen. We were made in the similitude or the likeness of God. And therefore, you and I need to follow him and worship him and glorify him no matter if the world around us is crumbling hey we're going to stand tall in Jesus Christ amen hallelujah because he is our lord and he is our savior amen we know that a lot of people in the bible follow Jesus amen his disciples they followed him Paul and Silas, they followed him. Amen. <clears throat> and so, it's a, it's a choice that he's given us. That we need to, you can follow him or not follow him. He's not going to force himself upon you. But what he's going to do is he's going to love you regardless. No matter what you say or do, Jesus is going to love you. He's going to love you and he's going to care for you because you are his creation. Amen. You are his creation. And therefore, he is going to wrap his arms around you. 
and he is going to love you amen and that's what we where we need to be at we need to love others as Christ loved others and I know I said this before but I'll say it again is that we need to walk in love and we need to walk in the light of Jesus Christ amen we need to have our head held high and we need to just walk in that love that God has, has for us. We need to walk in that love and we need to be the love and we need to show that love to other people. Amen? And that's what it means to be in the light is to show love and to show kindness to other people and, and just minister to other people and let people know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let them know that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Let other people know that Jesus Christ is our soon coming King. From day to day we go through and we go through struggles. We go through trials and tribulations. But can I tell you right now that God will be in the midst. He will be in the midst of all of our problems. We worship him. If we worship him and bow down before him, get down on our knees and be humble before the Lord. Praise him and sing praises to God. Worship God in spirit and in truth. You see, God is not just a, a Sunday God. A lot of us think that, oh, we come to church and we worship God, you know, on Sunday, and then we forget about God the rest of the week and we go about our daily lives, but you see, that's not so. God is an everyday God. God is, through, is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days out of the year. We need to worship him not just on Sunday at church, but we need to worship him every day of the year. Amen. He didn't wake us up just on Sundays. He woke us up every day. Amen. And he woke us up right on time. Hallelujah. And I will say this, as long as there's breath in my body, and as long as there's blood running through my veins, I'm going to serve God. Amen. I'm not going to look at, at religion or the tradition of man, but I'm going to look at the word of God and I'm going to look at Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of my faith. Jesus Christ paid a price. He paid a price so that you and I could live. He died out on a hill called Mount Calvary. He died so that you and I could live. Amen. He died. Amen. They hung him out on the cross and they pierced him in the side and, and he hung there and they put a crown of thorns on his head. And, and, they, and they, not only that, but they, they pierced him in the side and, and the blood came streaming down. And as that blood came streaming down, that blood was for the remission of our sins. And that blood covers a multitude of our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So therefore, I will say this. He stayed on the cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. He stayed there until the sun refused to shine. He stayed there. Hallelujah. And they took him off the cross. Amen. And they put him in Joseph's borrowed tomb. Amen. And as he stayed there all, all night, Friday and Friday night and Saturday and Saturday night. But can I tell you that early the Sunday morning, <laughs> my God rose with all power. 
with heaven and earth in his hand. And can I tell you that he ascended into heaven. But it didn't stop there, y'all. He's coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. He's coming back. And we, as a church, we need to be ready. We need to be ready. And we need to have our eyes focused on Christ. We need to have our, lamp, our lamps burning. Don't be like the five foolish virgins who ran out of oil and then when the bridegroom and when the bridegroom came, they wasn't ready. But the wise, the wise virgins, they were ready. They had their lamps burning and they were ready. And that's what we need to be. We need to be wise. We need to be wise and have our lamps burning. And we need to have our eyes on Christ because he's coming back for you and me. Amen. And until that time, until that time, and until his return, you and I need to be a light in this darkened world. We need to stand on the word of God. And we need to lift the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We need to lift up the name of Jesus. And we need to proclaim that name because the name of Jesus is so powerful. Hallelujah. I don't know about you this morning, but I love Jesus. And I love to call on the name of Jesus. And I, and I love to magnify his name. Amen. Sing praises to God and worship God in spirit and in truth. Worship him because he made me. Every fiber of my being he made and he knows all about me. He knows all about you. Again, you and I were put on this earth to worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't know how long we have on this earth. But I tell you what, we need to worship him in spirit and in truth. We need to glorify him. <clears throat> we need to magnify him. We need to say, God, I love you. God, I worship you. God, I need you. Sometimes, God, this, this world gets a little hard. But God, I know you're right there in the midst. I know, God, that you're going to take care of me because your word says it. His word says what? That I'll never leave, that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. And God's word will never come back void. Amen. And he is a God that can't lie. Hallelujah. So I want to say to you this morning that Jesus loves you. He cares about you. And you are one of his creations. Hallelujah. And so if you don't know Jesus this morning, I'm inviting you to be one of his followers. I'm inviting you to come in. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if anyone should hear my voice, and if anyone should open that door, I will come in and I will sup with you. Hallelujah. So this morning, I extend an invitation to you to follow Jesus, to know him as your personal Savior, to know him as your Lord, Hallelujah. Yes, you you know, you, you might say, well, you know, I'm, I have problems and I go through this and I go through that. But can I say this, that God is a problem solver. He's a burden bearer. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. 
So if you will come and accept Jesus Christ today and make him the Lord of your life, you'll never, ever regret it. Because I'm going to tell you today that he's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Jesus is the best thing that has ever happened in my life. Amen. And knowing Jesus, hey, I just know that you'll never regret it. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Jesus Christ is Lord. His mercy endures forever. And we need to be followers of Jesus. Amen. So, this morning as I close, I'm asking you to follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. Don't follow the president. Don't follow anybody else. But follow Jesus. Because he, he will make everything all right. Amen. And you will no longer be in darkness. But you will have the light of life. And you will be one of the children. You will be uh, a, the children of light. Amen. As it says in Ephesians. You will be the children of light. Amen. Hallelujah. So God bless you. May heavenly smile upon you. And may you know that God is real and his mercy endures forever. And again, today, let's follow Jesus and let's make him the Lord of our lives. Amen. Amen. God bless. And we just thank you for joining us this morning. Again, I am Reverend Keith Latham, and I hope you enjoy the message this morning. May God bless you and heavenly smile upon you. Put your hands together, let's give Jesus the praise.